Hey, 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 everyone. Welcome back and happy Friday. Okay, guys, so if you did not catch our hot, messy topics, by the way, I'm always so transparent with you guys. I'm the worst procrastinator. Hold on. So let me just say this. My contact fell out of this eye and I have to go pick one up from the eye doctor because I let it go and I let it get ahead of me. So I'm a procrastinator and I apologize. So I'm going to be looking at you all cockeyed and whatnot, but that's okay. At least we're here and it's not going to stop us from um, talking about the ish. Now, with that, while I look at you all cockeyed, um, we are back to talk about some Vanderpump Rules slash the Valley ish. And that's exactly what I plan on doing. So if you guys did not catch Hot Messy Topics today with Kim from Bravo Breaking News, definitely go be a part of the replay crew. And also, don't forget, I am hosting my birthday bash Saturday, July 6th in Charleston on King Street at Lamar's. With two of my favorite Bravo liberties, plus there will be a few more. I hope you guys can make it. Seriously, it's just going to be, there's no live show, no nothing like that. I just want to have a fun night with all of you guys. I want to meet everyone. I just, it's a birthday, just like we did in London, just in a different setting. So I hope you guys can make it. If you can't, then I'm sending you all the love anyways. I know not everybody can, but let's jump right in. All right, guys, so we got to start with the byway hello drama of it all, and then we're going to get into the Lala Kent throwing a little bit of shade at Sheena. Okay, here we go. I mean, oi, oi, oi. I feel like you can't make this shit up. So, Sheena would rather have Stassi return to Vanderpump Rules than Kristen. This is what she had to say. Have back on VPR, Stassi or Kristen? Stassi, I think play dates with the girls would be fun. And I mean, who knows? Season 12, you know, we we haven't started yet. So things things could happen. We shall see. Would you rather have hmm. well, I feel like we kind of knows. Unless they gave Stassi some ridiculous offer, I don't think she's going back. I think she's made it pretty clear she is not going back to Vanderpump Rules, but I love me some Stassi. If they want to bring Stassi back, then I'm all for it because the time of cancellation, I feel like she is she has done other things since it makes if they if they're gonna bring Jax and Kristen out of cancellation, then why wouldn't they bring Stassi? I get it. And also Stassi was offered a role on the valley and she respectfully declined. But next. Way before Vanderpump Rules in the Valley, Kristen was asked to be a contestant on The Bachelor. She was dating Sandoval at the time, and she said no. Who was most authentically themselves on this last season of Vanderpump Rules? Tom and Ariana. Mm -hmm. That really was just exactly how it was going down. Yeah. I mean, it was just raw. It was so intense, yeah. If, Wait, I mean, yeah, I think I stand by that. Yeah. Who was most authentically themselves on this last season of Vanderpump Tom and Ariana. Now, I don't think that that took a lot to figure out. I do want to also add to this really quick that when we were doing our hot, messy topics, we talked about the fact that Ariana right now is thriving. If you guys have not seen her on Love Island, I mean, look at the girl. She's absolutely killing it. She looks like a bajillion dollars. And she's doing something that makes her happy where she can have fun. She loves it. And it's not tapping into her own personal trauma. I think... Anybody being able to make money doing that, especially something you love, Dancing with the Stars, Broadway, hosting Love Island. It's like win, 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 win. What can you say about that? You can't. The girl is just winning. But hold on. Oh, we're not done. Shorts revealed that he has been to something about her three times already. Okay. And Sheena's Ultimate Girls Trip cast is... MJ, okay, Paige DeSorbo, Hannah Burner, Dolores Catania, Crystal Kung Minkoff, and Ashley Darby. Sheena Shea on Billy Lee's drama with Kyle Chan, Sandoval, and Victoria. Billy is not one of my favorite people. I think she is a known liar. Sheena also said that she doesn't really know anything about Sandoval and Victoria's relationship because she doesn't talk to them or hang out with them. And Sheena says Billy has been getting been getting caught in a lot of lies. Um. You know what's so funny about all of this is that I had so many people say, Adam, 
even in the live chat today. Adam, I feel like you are taking Tom Sandoval's side. I'm like, I'm absolutely not taking Tom Sandoval's side. Well, it sounds like you don't like Billy. Not that I don't like Billy. I had multiple moments with Billy where Billy was not the kindest to me. And Billy went on her live and explained that she was in a dark place at that time. And I can receive that and understand and know that we've all been in places. And I'm okay with that. I'm at peace. I have a very happy life. I don't have to sell that to anyone. But also, I don't have anything. I wish Billy the best. Do I understand how someone who claims to be a best friend or a confidant and someone else goes and airs out their dirty laundry? No. Do I think that there's a lot of opportunity in that with promoting the podcast and also the shows, the comedy shows? Yes, especially because she's also said that she's going to address these at the comedy shows. However, that is a Billy thing. That is not a me thing. So as far as Tom, Kyle, Victoria, Billy, I'm sending all the love and positive energy because I feel like they all need it. And there is no negative energy coming out of me towards them. I don't dislike any of them. I really, really don't. At one point, I thought Tom Sandoval was a fool, but the whole world did. And now I'm like, I'm good. Ariana is just winning. She's thriving. I have nothing negative to say. I really, really genuinely don't. But moving on, hmm. thank you to Taste of Reality. Lala Kent threw Loki Jade, Loki Shade at Sheena Shea over Summer Moon's Instagram presence. Um, Lala? Mm -mm. Lala Kent agreed that people who have Instagram pages for their children are cringe. Vanderpump Rules fans were quick to slam the expectant mother for throwing Loki Shade at Sheena Shea. Armed with a stink face, Lala asked her co-hosts, feelings on babies having Instagram pages, and um, they went off on how cringe baby Insta pages are. She doubled down, adding pet pages are also cringe. Mr. Wiggles is not saying it's a sunshine day, but Lala compared it to when Sheena accused Tom Sandoval of blocking Summer Moon. There was one person that was like, Summer Moon doesn't know how to run an Instagram, and Sandoval blocked you. Mm. Bravo TV fans obviously reacted. Says the person who literally did a gender reveal on Amazon Live, make it make sense. Two, Ocean's IG was public when she created it. Three, I don't think Lala has friends. Sheena better rethink who she defended in the reunion. Four, I thought this was her soft era. Instead, she's hitting on the girl who called her her rock. Last two, baby child accounts are the one thing that I'll agree with her on, unsafe. Finally, didn't Lala just say that she shouldn't be making comments about her parenting? Yeah. Summer Moon's Instagram account, for those of you who don't live on Instagram, Summer Moon Honey has 157,000 followers and follows 25 accounts. Summer Moon's bio states at Sheena and Brock's mini account ran by my mom and dad in the app polls. Hey, Pippi Elias, how you like them? Songstress also included a link to her Amazon storefront to earn commissions. The only people from the Vanderverse that Summer Moon follows besides mom and dad are James, Ali, Ariana, little baby, Gauchi, Brittany, and Jax's son, and the uh, Give Them Ocean. For the record, Ocean's Instagram account is private. Yeah. Well, I also think that it's her baby. She can do whatever she wants. I dig Lala, but like if Sheena wants to sit here and promote her kid, promote your kid. Listen, if Sheena can promote her baby, and I know that a lot of people think that it's unsafe. But that woman is so upset with her child. Trust me. In the best way possible. But if she wants to promote her daughter and put money in an account for her, that one day when she turns 18, she has this extra little bit of income. Or maybe it could even be a million dollars by the time she's 18. Or more. If she has all of that money in her account because Sheena was doing all of this work for her. What is the problem? People are going to want to know more about her anyways. And you never know. I think that it's an opportunity. Could she keep her behind the sidelines? Yes. But also, this might be just a good way to be able to pay for her future because Sheena doesn't know how long she'll be on reality TV. And that's the truth. But I want to hear what you guys think, especially because I'm looking at you all cockeyed and whatnot. Smash that like button. Show some love. If you guys are not subscribed, get subscribed to Up and Adam Channel 1. And don't forget, my birthday bash is July 6th. 
Saturday. It's on a Saturday in Charleston on King Street at Lamar's. I'm hosting it with two of my favorite Bravo celebrities. Again, like I said, a few more Bravo people will be there, but I want you guys to come have fun, play with me. It's going to be a night of just like laughs, not anything serious, no work. I'm not doing a live show. I'm not a performing seal. I'm going to just have a blast with all of you because I just want to meet everyone and talk, not like, oh my God, I don't want to be on. I just want to be off with you guys, the Adams family, the people that I love this community and just have fun. That's all I want to do. It's my 31st birthday and I want you guys to be a part of it. So I love you guys. We'll see you next time.